Good morning. It's Transformation Thursday in the 55 plus community. And I am so, so excited, uh, so excited to share with you something that was posted within our own family, actually by D. Fiegel. And I don't know how many of you noticed her in our 55 plus, but she is one of the top 10 contributors and leaves posts, I think pretty much every day and comments on all your posts. She is such a value, uh, brings so much value to our family. And she did a post, uh, I think it was yesterday, actually, that it was posted. And I saw it and I thought, oh my gosh, Dee, we have got to talk about that on Transformation Thursday because it's really vital, you guys. To get our transformation, there are tools that we want to put in our tool belt, right? And she hit on one that's powerful. So we're going to step into that. We're going to do a quick uh, screen share. Um, I love you, Dee. Thank you for posting this. Well, I'm also going to show you something on the app that will make a difference too, right? But this is Transformation Thursday, gang. Dee put a post up there. She says, the work isn't always about strengthening the physical body, but strengthening the mind. And she goes on to comment that she went off into a forest on Sunday. That was her day off of work. She walked around in the forest. Not only did, was she strengthening her body, but she was also strengthening her mind. And we're going to go a little further into that, actually. So here is Precious D. And she is what I call my earthly friend because she loves to get into the flowers and into the forest and then... And um, I just love how much she's grounded with that specifically. So for D um, to take strengthen her physical body and mindset, she knows she's got to get out with Mother Nature because that rebuilds her. Ironically, you guys, we can also be in the green zone, burning fat for those of you uh, that want to lose weight. It is also about controlling what comes in your mouth, right? And eating well, but burning fat in the green zone matters. So she's out there enjoying the, the forest to do it. Um, and mine, of course, my two favorite things that I do outside of my DDP workouts is I get on my trike and I kid you not, I feel like I'm a little kid running away from home. As a matter of fact, uh, just yesterday morning, I got up at six. I went to bed. Uh, it was almost one o'clock, one o'clock in the morning that I went to bed because it was a very full day yes, yesterday. But I woke up at six o'clock and I thought, oh, gosh, you know, it's only 70 degrees right now in Florida. This at that time of day, I should go out triking. So I went out triking for a whole hour and watched the sun come up. Uh, triked all around the neighborhood. I have flashers on the front and the back of my trike that I turn on. Of course, some people see me coming, but it was powerful. Not just the fact that I stayed in the green zone the entire hour, right? And strengthened my body, but it also does stuff for my mindset, you guys. I encourage every one of you to find something that strengthens your mindset. And of course, the other one for me is when I get out walking. When I'm out walking, you guys, um, and sometimes I walk a distance to go to like a Dunkin' Donuts just to have a, a senior coffee, black coffee right there, right? Uh, right now, my knees are still overcoming from the injury that I'd had. So I'm not out there doing that style of walking, but I can still do my triking, right? And I want to share a couple of other stories here. So uh, Dennis Dittweiler, who's within our 55 plus family too, believe it or not, he was weeding in the garden, which he totally enjoys uh, the other day. And he burnt 455 calories in 34 minutes of weeding his garden. And I said to Dennis, wow, that's awesome. Because you were clearly getting the physical activity, but you were at the same time, your mindset was great because you were doing something that mattered, right? And he's still getting in all of his DDPY workouts. Matter of fact, he's doing the back builder, the knee builder, 
uh, stuff with Hayden's workouts within the app. He's doing all of those, but he finds ways to get out and walk. And now he's found a way too with the weeding of his garden. And I wanna make sure and tell you, I also had another a gal, 33 year old gal uh, that I was working with and she couldn't find anything she enjoyed that was get, keeping her in the fat burning zone. Even uh, basketball at the Y wasn't doing it. She wasn't in the green zone. One day, and I just asked her, keep your heart rate monitor on when you're doing different things and record it so I can see what things are working. Would you believe for that young lady, it was bowling. She went bowling one time and it was like every six minutes she was burning 133 calories. That's how powerful bowling was for her. So I told her in addition to the app, I would put, since she loves bowling and it clearly kept her in the green zone, put that in your regular habit. She said, really, I felt like as an adult, I shouldn't be doing that. I need to focus on making money. And I said, well, that would be true, except for you totally want to lose weight. And so we need you to find something also that you love that burns calories. I said, if I were you, I would grab, I would join a bowling league for heaven's sakes. Do something you love that also burns calories, right? So powerful. Now I wanna show you though, because you might still say to yourself, um, yeah, but I, I don't know um, exactly what I wanna do. And I'm gonna encourage you to always go back to, when you go across the top here, go to user guide, right? Click on user guide. And I encourage every one of you, if you're not certain what you're fighting for, uh, go on to here and, and go into the app basics. And when you get to things uh, where the list are and follow the things that are within the list, right? Um, wait a minute, this isn't showing exactly what I want it to show. Hold on, hold on here. There we are, the list. Okay, so click on the list, you guys. And if you don't know what you're fighting for, this is the perfect place for you because the SmackDown goals are there. If you don't know why you're fighting, you won't figure out the need to create that extra activity for yourself. But if your SmackDown goals are clear, everything within the list helps you to stay focused exactly what you want. You cannot hit a target you don't have. It's like putting blindfolds on you, spinning you around and say, now go ahead, throw a dart at the target. And you're thinking, well, I can't see it. And that's exactly right. So the mo the foundation to all of this is knowing what you're fighting for and why. Then on top of that, you guys, I would always encourage you, find that extra thing, that thing beyond your workouts. Because the workouts and the app are going to create flexibility, mobility, uh, muscle strength, all of that, right? But in addition to that, find something that you really love that you can add into that uh, story. So um, have a transformation Thursday, you guys, you deserve it. All, I will tell you, for those of us that are doing rehab, that's a little bit slow, slower journey. And uh, you know that I had injured a knee in January. I'm still, what is this? June, I don't know, June 5th or 6th, something like that. I'm still on that journey of getting full recovery from it. But this kneehab stuff changed everything. So I left the pain. So that's a real plus, you guys. If you step into the PT, physical therapy workouts, you will find yourself moving away from the pain levels. They'll drop down minimally. And in my case, they left completely. So I'm still working on my knees to be what they need to be for all the walking I love to do, right? But step into the programs that exist here for you and I. They are phenomenal. So we can get our transformation as long as we know what we're fighting for. That's what the list is all about. So we will see you for Fabulous Friday on tomorrow. And let's see, no, nope, nothing else to say. See you tomorrow, gang. Love you. Bye-bye.